I'm making a very healthy dish today. Gigantes sto furno, giant beans in the oven. They're similar to what we know in English as butter beans. These come from the north of Greece, from an area called Kozani. And this dish is a combination of several things. It's based on a traditional dish, but it also has a few of my own touches. Honey from my island, which is Ikaria, and olive oil from a special place in the southeastern Peloponnese called Laconia. We're gonna go through all of it, and by the end of it, you'll be eating your own giant beans. I'm gonna cook them first in a pressure cooker, just to save some time. This would normally take about an hour. These are very tough. I soak them overnight, and then I have to boil them, and then they go into the oven. It's much easier, it's much faster, and it's much better for us working mothers. I'm just gonna add my water, enough to come up about two inches above the beans. We want plenty in there because they need to boil and they'll soak up a lot of water. I'm just gonna close the pressure cooker so that it's hermetically sealed. And I'm gonna set this actually to the setting for uh, meat. I always cook my beans, especially my giant beans, on the setting for meat because they're tough. They need the pressure, they need to be boiled. And what we're doing is getting them to the point where they're about halfway cooked before they go into the oven. They need about 10 to 12 minutes to reach that point. I always start with a high flame, and as soon as, the, as soon as we hear the first beep, 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 I lower the flame. You hear that sound? Our giant beans are halfway there. I'm about to release the cap, and then I'm gonna drain the beans. Uh, they look absolutely perfect. I didn't have to drain the beans. I could have used their own cooking liquid. I usually use fresh water whenever I'm cooking beans in two steps because it helps with the flatulence issue. It makes them a little bit lighter. I'm gonna finish off the dish now. So I'm just gonna empty my giant beans into my lovely non-stick baking pan, spread them out so that they're nice and even in the pan, and then get on with everything else. I have freshly grated tomato, fresh tomato, a lot of onions, make the dish even sweeter. But one of the great things about Greek cooking is that it's very easy, it's very accessible, and this is a good example of a dish that is as easy as pie. I've boiled my beans, I'm just adding my tomato, my onions. Always use red onions in the Greek kitchen. It's just what's most common here. I'm adding one of my favorite ingredients. This is honey from Ikaria. This is a special honey, it's pine honey. They say it's the secret to our longevity. So I'm just gonna spread this evenly. This is almost ready to go into the oven. I just need a little bit of salt, some bay leaf, one bay leaf, my fresh dill. My delicious honey vinegar, oxymelo. I'm about to add my olive oil. PGI Laconia extra virgin olive oil. Tomato paste. It's time to put this in the oven. The beans need about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes at 350. Check the water occasionally. And what you want is an end result that's soft, buttery, without disintegrating. That's the secret of giant beans. Remember the English name for this, butter beans? It's the key to how they should taste is sort of in there, except it's olive oil, of course. 